welcome to plane geometry test 1.1 solution so looking at it we are going to start straight away as you watch in the video we are going to apply the principles like i said plane geometry you will see and you apply you see and you apply so if you are not seeing anything you cannot apply anything so see the way i'm going to approach the questions so in examination you do the same thing remember in examination for you you do the questions that are straightforward first do the questions that are straightforward first then later you come back and deal with the rest that is the best way to approach objective questions now let's go because once is asking for something there's no narration here there's no statement here but look at the diagram because sometimes you can look at the diagram look at the way the answers are presented and you can easily get the answer so let's see what are we seeing and i said if you recall that good because in two what i see still parallel lines for that matter look at the positions x is down and left you see it down here and left there then y is where y is top and right so x is down and left y is top and right so direct option therefore what comes to your mind alternate angles thank you all right the next one sure because in three in the diagram angle pqr equals 58 degrees so this that this angle is 58 degrees good angle pqr equals 80 degrees pqr 80 degrees that's p q r so you can see it covers the whole of this piece have you noticed that i said angles are covered by what are covered with what x so the look at the length of the arc it covers from here from here up to there so though 80 is written in in this area it doesn't belong to that area only it belongs to where the arc covers very important in angles so always look at the coverage of the arc to determine the number written the examiner wrote the number there because he wanted a space to write the number do you understand because he cannot write on the line he has to write on a space empty space but it is the coverage of the arc that determines where the angle belongs to have you gotten one key thank you so always look at the arc to see the curve to determine the size of the angle beautiful so the angle is p q r that's p q r so the whole of this take note the whole triangle now let's go and that speaks and line s r equals like q r line s r that's s r starting from here s to where r is equal to q to where r now if i draw it that way what do i get if they are equal what comes to your mind i get what i sourceless triangle so i'm drawing it that way this is the r look at the positioning well this is q and this is s and this is the 58 degrees right so you can turn the paper in examination i said you are paid for the paper so you are supposed to turn the paper to the shape so you turn it to let the r face up when the r position of r here faces up you get a picture of the isosceles triangle very well so that i can calculate the base angles right so what will be the base angle 180 minus 58 degrees is what these angles will share equally so you can choose to represent it by what x so what do you say x plus x so this plus that plus 58 degrees must give you what 180 degrees do you agree yes so i get 2x is equal to 180 minus 58 
180 minus 50 what to get 2x equals assuming this is 60 if i take it to be 60 and i subtract i get what 120 right i did more than that so i get 132 do you, do you understand sorry 50 50 minus uh, uh, 60 60 minus 80 what is what 20 because i added two let me add the two back so i get 122 so divide both sides by two so x is equal to saying what do you have 120 i get 60 so 61 degrees so this angle is 61 that angle is also 61 because of the principle of isosceles angles two sides might be equal two angles might be equal now we have that so it means this angle is 61 do you get it this alone mm, what is part of the 80 so 61 here is also what 61 that is what i've done the calculation so you can risk sketch or turn the paper and you can easily get it now 61 61 the question is asking for angle vqt vqt here vqt this small angle so i know that if i get this empty angle is vertically opposite to that do you agree that's what we learned vertically opposite angles are what equal so if i get here and it is easier for me to get it it is very easy for me to get it so if i get it so if this whole thing is 80 and this alone is 61 then 80 minus 61 will produce what 19 degrees the 19 is vertical of city so my answer is 19 or you can say if this is 61 right this is 61 then i'm expecting the whole of here to also be what 61 do you understand i think this is enough this is enough so you can choose. there are so many ways of killing the cat so after getting i think let's use this principle and go so that's okay since we have been able to use it so remember isosceles so i pulled the isosceles triangle out and i got 61 61 so the 61 belongs to only this portion here only the inside here but remember the full one is 80 so if i subtract 61 from the 80 it will give me the small portion here and that's vertical opposite to that which is 19 degrees so the answer is 19. so 19 is the correct answer here yeah, it says find the value of x find the value of what x you can add it if you read the diagram you know that these are parallel lines they are indication here but he has written it here pq is parallel to rs this parallel in the diagram pq is parallel to what rs qpt is 70 so that's 70 over here it's indicated you can see it then ptr 30 degrees is also there and on that find it and like i said the best way is to turn the paper outside, outside down. Now, if I turn the paper, watch. Most of the time, I turn the paper. If I turn the paper, I'll get this. Watch you. This is what I'll get. Yes. If I turn the paper, I'll get this. I'll get this. Okay. This is the X. Here. Yeah. Okay. This is 30. That is this angle. This is 30 degrees. This is the angle which is 70. Remember, they are parallel. If they are parallel, that corresponding alternate will play a role here. Now, whenever you have parallel lines in any work to do, you have every liberty to extend the lines. <laughs> yes, so I have every right to do this. I have every right to extend this line. Yes, I have every right to extend this line. Yes, it is just for parallel lines. When you have parallel lines, you have every right to extend the lines to give you a good picture. Now watch. Can you see that it's a full triangle? Can you see? 